Hi, it's Kathy. I'm recording a little blog video, and my topic today, now that we've had some time in January, is that success requires work, and the two are directly proportional. So I don't know how many New Year's resolutions or goals you've set for the year. I tried to limit myself to four personal goals and not a specific business goal other than to expand my business and I did set some financial goals and I'll have to adjust those quarterly to see how my progress is going. The main thing is trying to increase my newsletter mailing list and things like that. So I have some specific goals and I spent lots of time planning. I did a little vision board you can see behind me the corner of one of them and I'm all excited about accomplishing this stuff. Now I have to actually do some work to make these goals happen. And it's a little bit overwhelming, especially when you have more than one thing that you're trying to work on. I have some writing goals. I haven't done my writing yet today, but it's still early, so I'm hoping to, to fit in at least hopefully an hour, maybe at minimum a half an hour. But I woke up and was oddly motivated today being on the weekend. I'm like, wait a second, I have this energy to get some stuff done. And then it took me a long time to narrow down what the priority for the day was. And I said, actually, priority needs to be doing a couple blog videos. <laughs> so here's a blog video because I haven't done one in a while. And actually, I was looking at my archive. I think the last one was my birthday video. And I was wearing the same shirt. So maybe this is my weekend shirt. But I like the shirt. I got it on my vacation when I was in York in England. So it's one of my favorite casual shirts. But anyway, so back to success is directly proportional to work. So if I want to have success on any of my goals, I need to do the work. I need to make the time to do the work. And today my goal was to do a blog video and get some writing done and run to the grocery store to pick up some stuff for lunch. So hopefully I'll get all that stuff done today. Then tomorrow, I'm honestly not sure what my goal is going to be. I have a business workshop recording that I want to listen to to help me with my list building that's been sitting saved on my drive for longer than I'd like to admit. So I'm trying to sort through and pick specific tasks specific goals for each day to help me make progress on my goals. One of my other goals is fitness. So I'm hoping to go to the rec center later today. I've, I haven't been feeling well. I've been having weird head and sinus things. So I don't know. If, I haven't caught a cold, but I didn't work out for a couple of days. So today I'm feeling a little better. I'm going to take a nap later. Hopefully my head will feel good and I'll be able to go do some walking on the treadmill at the rec center. The main thing is to keep tabs on what you're doing and why. If my goal is my, well, I'll just say it. my goal is to lose 35 pounds by June so that I can take a vacation to Italy and go on the beach in Cinque Terre and be cute in my swimsuit and relax and have a great time. Partially because, well, the reason for my vacation is this summer is going to be my 20th high school reunion <laughs> instead of going to back to where I went to high school, I said, I'm going to take a good vacation. I'm going to go to Italy. So that's one of my goals for the year. Not only to plan my Italian vacation and save and budget toward it, but to lose 35 pounds, which I've been wanting to do for a couple of years now. So if I want to make progress toward that goal, I need to go to the rec center today and probably tomorrow or to do some other fitness thing at home. If I want to finish a novel this year, I need to get in my hours of writing. So setting goals and thinking of your plan for the year is great, but then on a day-to-day -day basis, the rubber meets the road and you need to take some actions. So every, either every morning before you start getting to work or the night before setting a plan for your day, picking which goal and which action item you're going to work on, and then making it a priority. And instead of playing the Master of Orion download that I found the other day on internet. Instead of playing games, I'm going to go to the rec center and I'm going to do my writing. So just to remind you, I wish you so much luck with your goals for 2015, but make sure that you don't just plan and set it and forget it.
You've got to take a little bit of action every day or at least every week. You know what schedule is right for you. You know when you want things to happen. A lot of the goals I set for myself, I noticed kind of all coalesce around June deadline. So I have four goals I've written toward until June, which means I really need to get my butt in gear because before I know it, it'll be May and then I'll be like, oops, I've got four weeks left to finish these goals. I don't want that to happen. So every day I'm doing hopefully a little bit of work on at least two of my many goals that I've set for myself. So again, I wish you so much luck on your goals this year, but don't let yourself be a casualty of the New Year's resolution syndrome. Set your goals, set specific action items that are actionable, which is why they're called action items, and take your actions and meet your goals. So thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll remember to wear a different shirt next video. (laughs) Thanks. Talk to you later.